Hey, hey everyone. So in today's video, we are going to make five crafts that go with the tear tray that I made in last week's video. So if you have not watched that after this video, make sure you go back and watch that because all of this will tie into that farmhouse rustic theme um, that we are going to put together. Um, a lot of this stuff is from past projects, stuff that I just have laying around. If you're a crafter, then you absolutely know you just have random stuff laying around. Like, some, this is a light fixture and we're just going to make a little lantern out of it and it's going to be cute. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so for our first project, it's going to be really fast. Um, all of this I actually got from the Dollar Tree. These, I would probably say, are one of the best buys that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. I'm actually really shocked. They're rub-on transfers. You just have to be really careful. Um, they do come off very easily when you place them on whatever object you're going to put them on. As you can tell, I already messed up a flower. Good thing I wasn't going to use it. So these right here um, were actually pink, I believe, and... They have two inserts and I'm only going to use one of the inserts and then that's what I'm going to put my transfer on. <clears throat> but what I did is I just took it outside and I spray painted it white and these, there's a slot on the bottom and it actually just slides in for like a see-through window pane. So what I'm going to do is I will take out those two slots, I'm going to take my transfer and figure out what I want to put on it. So like I said, make sure you're super careful because what you put down is what's going to go down. So I'm thinking let's go ahead and play it safe. I'm going to put it back on the paper. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut out what I'm wanting to transfer. That way we don't have to worry about transferring anything we don't want to transfer. All right, so we're gonna take this transfer out. I'm gonna set it down in the middle. And I'm just gonna rub it over it. <clears throat> Pull up on it a little bit <clears throat> see if it's got everything and you actually might be better if we grab something flat and I got this from the Dollar Tree as well I'm gonna rub down on it pull it up And there we have it. So that was super simple. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop it back in here. And there you have it. And there you have two cute, very simple, took a couple minutes, little, I don't even know what to call them, little, little signs you could put on your counter, you could put on um, in any of your decorations. And it was, it was simple. So in this project, um, what we are going to use is this is just a light cover and I got it because it just looks unique um, and obviously we aren't going to use it as a light cover. However, these cute lights that come from the Dollar Tree fit perfectly 
in the bottom. So what we are going to do is I am going to uh, wrap jute around the bottom portion of it to tie in that farmhouse look. And then because the tray that I made last week is white, I am going to add white to the very tip of this light. This I got at Goodwill. Um, it was 99 cents. It was the sticker of the day. So I think I got it for 50 cents maybe. Um, the jute comes from the Dollar Tree. The light comes from the Dollar Tree. Um, and my paint I just got from Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> and we'll be using a glue gun to glue on the jute. There you have it. We'll pop this little light at the bottom and it'll sit on our tray like that. In this project, what we are going to do is, I don't even know where, I got these beads from a past project that I did and of course I just keep everything. So what we are going to do is we are going to make a little tassel um, using two different kinds of Dollar Tree jute. Uh, you have the thinner, ju thinner jute and then the nautical rope jute. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I will use the thin jute to string my beads on. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the thicker jute, the nautical rope, and we're gonna make a tassel. So we're gonna cut it long, and then if we need to shorten it, we can shorten it. If I can get through it. <clears throat> so before I take the whole thing apart, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this in Actually, I'm going to add some hot glue to hold it all together. And I'm sure there's better ways to do in this, but this is how we're going to do it. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off some of the frays. Add a little bit more hot glue. 
for the parts that are coming undone. So I'm going to take the thin jute again. I'm going to add a piece of hot glue. And we are going to wrap the base of this. with juice. So once we have that piece, what I'm going to do now is I will now spread out the nautical rope into its individual strands. And this one that we glued, I'm just going to cut off. Because that one frays too much when you try to pull it apart. So there we have little tassels. So this will sit, it'll hang over the, the farmhouse rustic tiered tray that we created. And it'll go with the flow of everything. In our fourth project, um, I'm just going to make a cute little succulent plant. Um, this I got from one of the hardware stores here and they were actually on sale and i believe i only paid 25 cents for it so of course i grabbed all of them i don't like the flowers but we can paint over that we have a little succulent from the dollar tree that has a clip and we're just going to pull that clip off it's useless and then we have rocks from the dollar tree and this is a sponge from the dollar tree um i like to um, paint with this because I can dab it on and it eliminates the paint marks from the brush so all we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the top we're gonna leave this bottom portion and I really didn't think this through when it come to the paint so we're gonna work with it the best we can so we're just gonna grab some and we're just gonna dab it on Let it dry, add another coat, and then we will continue to do that until... All right, so now that you have your coat of paint on, all we are gonna do now is take our rocks, put them in, take our little succulent, Bury it down in there. And there you have it. The cute little succulent plants. That'll go well with all the decor for our tear tray. So for our last project that we are going to do um, for the tear tray is actually with this wooden frame one thing i like to grab when i go thrift shopping one place i do like is goodwill is i like to stock up on wood frames because you could do so much with it so this i need it i'm going to have it sitting up on the tray so i'm going to keep this back part so i'll go ahead and remove this back portion set it aside and what I'm going to do is I'm going to Mod Podge this sheet that I got from Hobby Lobby for 25 cents I'm going to Mod Podge 
this to the back as long as I can get it I'm going to overlap it a little bit so we can cut it down. So I'm just going to take a little box cutter. That way I know where it should be. I'm going to take my Mod Podge. I'm going to put it all over my glass. Alright, and now that I think about it, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do it on the front. I don't want to risk any look of glue. So I'm going to line it up, smooth it out. Make sure there's no bubbles in it. And I'm just going to do a rough cut. I'm not really worried about what the edges look like. So now that we have this done, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these same transfers that we used from the other one. pop this back in here real quick all right before we mess with that now that we have that mod podged on there it can dry I'm going to take We're going to use a brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this wood. I'm not going to do too pretty on it because I'm going to take uh, the sanding block to it and distress it a little bit.
after you get the desired look that you are wanting, we are going to bring back our piece of glass that we decoupaged that paper to. We're going to come back to our transfers. We're going to pick what we want on it. And I have to keep in mind, I'm going to use these uh, eucalyptus leaves because that is one of the styles in my house. It's white, rustic, farmhouse. Um, I really only have one color that I incorporate and it's eucalyptus green. So what I'm going to do is I need to keep in mind before I place the transfers on that I'm going to place these eucalyptus leaves in the corner to give a 3D um, thing. I can't even think of the word. A 3D like flower effect. So I need to keep that in mind as well. So I think what I will do is I need to cut off these stems a little bit shorter. Debating on if I want to use one or two. What I want to use is this one. Let's use spring. Set that aside. So now that we have that in there, what we are going to do is we'll go ahead and place everything back in to the frame. Pop this back in there. Now we're going to take our eucalyptus leaves. We are going to just go to town with the hot glue on this one. And then we'll cover it up so you don't see the hot glue. Yeah. All right, so now that our hot glue is dry and it is not coming off we're going to cover our hot glue so it is not seen so i have this leftover ribbon that i have just sitting in my ribbon holder so what we are going to do my apologies guys i wasn't paying attention and my battery died at the very last minute so what I was doing was applying these ribbons. So what I did was I just took some extra ribbon that I had and I took three, I cut three pieces of ribbon. And what I did was I, I spread them on the corner of the frame and I applied a dab of hot glue on each one and placed it. And I did the same thing and I overlaid, I layered them in three, put a dab of hot glue, put another one. Then I took the third one, put two dabs of hot glue, layered it, 
and this is our finished product this will sit on top of the tiered tray that we made last week so again if you have not watched that video make sure you go back and watch that video i will put it all together and then i will show you how everything turned out um i hope all y'all have a good day and enjoy your weekend